Now, are these military blue force better than the reimagined bread force? Is this sneaker really called the industrial blues? And is the shape different between the two? What is up you guys, my name is Jaden. And in this video, we're gonna be going over frequently asked questions on the 2024 Air Jordan 4 Military Blues plus a wear review. So let's start off with the wear review. Now, as far as comfort, my feet really, really do love the fit of fours. So I've worn these for just about a week and let me show you guys the creasing. Now I was wearing these just for casual wear. I wasn't going out, playing any sports in them, nor running. So this is purely just going out, walking as I normally do, running some errands. And let me tell you guys something shocking about these. They don't crease easily. So if you guys don't know, I drive a manual car, so my left foot is constantly stomping on that clutch. And honestly, I thought the creasing was gonna be a lot worse. Now, as you guys can see, the creasing is not too terrible. However, that could be the way I walk. I think I definitely walk really, really careful. Now, of course, creasing on your shoe could be different because you walk differently. But overall, the creasing is not bad as I would have thought. I mean, you know, they look pretty, pretty well. And I know you guys are wondering, if you wore your shoe, how are your soles clean? Every time I go out and I wear a new pair of shoes, I come back and I make sure to clean up the soles, at least for like new pairs of shoes. If you guys are wondering what I clean my shoes with, it is the Rejuvenator Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. I will put the link to this product down in the description below. Make sure you guys go cop some product, it works extremely well. I will also put my code down in the description below for you guys. Make sure you use that for 10% off. It's literally free money. Do yourself a favor and cop yourself some product. So the official wear review rating I give on these Military Blue Force, I give it a solid nine out of 10. The only problem I would have with these was how hot my feet would get while I would be wearing these. Now I live in Las Vegas, I live in the desert and it's starting to get hot over here. The temperature is rising and it's like the hottest in the afternoon. Wearing this in that kind of heat is not the move. You know, fours have so much cushion almost everywhere and these nets are designed to have some circulation of air but I feel like there's zero circulation. But my feet get really, really hot when I wear these. I not only wore these with shorts, I also wore them with pants and usually when I wear my pants, I'll have my pants kind of go over over the shoe but overall wearing them in 90 to 100 degree weather is certainly not it they have so much cushion and they will make your feet so hot <laughs> Now, on to the frequently asked questions on these military fours. Are these really called the industrial blues? You know, it's weird because on the box, the official colorway of the sneaker is military blue, but then you go to sneakers app and it's industrial blue. Mm, so, I don't know. I almost feel like whoever made the page on sneakers app maybe put in a different name. Honestly, I feel that these are called the military blue fours. I mean, you have the 2012 pair that's called military blues, so I don't know why you would make the 2024 version say industrial blue instead of military blue so i almost feel like they messed up on sneakers app there would be no explanation as to why anyone would call these industrial blues everyone's gonna know these as the military blues someone's gonna see those on your feet and be like oh he has a military blues no, no one's gonna say oh he has the industrial blues you know they made this sneaker earlier in the years and it just wouldn't make sense for them to switch it from military blue to industrial blue now comments and comments and comments have been asking are these military blue fours better than the reimagined bread fours honestly it's completely up to you they're both extremely different and literally opposite in colors one is white and blue and the other one is black and red this one has more of an aesthetic vibe and this one has I don't know what you would call it, the opposite. <laughs> or I guess you could say these are very flashy and these are very low key. Of course, it also depends on the material. These military fours have nubuck and you could easily mess this up. But with these, the durability and longevity of this leather will 100% beat this pair in that aspect. It really just depends on how you style them as far as fit i feel like they're the exact same they both look the same inside i mean like at this point it's just two different colorways and two different materials one thing i'd like to mention and point out about the bread fours is i have also driven stick in these and there is like no creasing because of how soft the leather is this leather is super super forgiving and it's really really soft now i'm not trying to glaze this material over the military fours but the military fours you guys can see has creasing you can crease these and it'll look normal because of how tumbled the leather is i guess that's one difference between the two leathers in my opinion which one looks better these guys right here i think that these look a lot more pleasing to the eye i actually did get some ice cream on them and you guys can't even see it because I use rejuvenator suede eraser but it was right here and it completely buffed out i think it's kind of getting a little dark i gotta add some lights 
Ooh. Man, that's bright. We are back in business. So, like I was saying, both are amazing. If you guys want to see outfits with these military blues or reimagined bread fours, you guys can go ahead and go to my Instagram at Kitkaju. I got outfits there displaying both of these sneakers. Go follow me while you're at it. Maybe you guys can get some inspo for your outfits. Now, a lot of you have been asking, is the shape different between the two? And with the look of it, mm -mm. you know what? Now that I look at it, I mean, the toe box is just barely more sharper on the military fours. It's just a little more sharper. And the bread fours have more of like a, a big U. So I guess you could say that that is a difference. I mean, it's nothing too extremely visible. Now that is gonna be it for this video. Comment down below if you guys have any more questions. I'm gonna do my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I'm gonna go ahead, ask someone else so I can get you that answer. Maybe even do a little research. But comment down below if you guys have any more questions. Let's type of pants, what type of shorts, what kind of colors go with the military force. Anything and everything, I'm open to it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you might as well turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a new video. And of course, if you guys do want more content on these military force, comment down below what you guys want to see. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.